Hey, Shalom on Israel. First off, I would like to say, call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Also, would like to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's out there pushing this word in all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and believe, Shalom on to you as well. Uh, I was just reading um, and just meditating on some scriptures, and uh, I just want to go into a a topic that's always relevant because, of course, uh, we give double honors to our elders. And in fact, through the spirit, we call, you know, the the, 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 the main leaders uh, of our nation, uh, the apostles. But I've heard uh, Apostle Tahar say himself that really all of the believers, the, the brothers that are within the body of the, uh, the hopeful elect, we're all apostles because the word apostle is just means to be sent forth. So just as Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son of the heavenly father, he was sent forth into the world uh, to bring light uh, to us or, or bring life, rather light and life. Those things are synonymous, but he was uh, brought to, to bring life to us because through the wages of sin, we would we were dead. But through Yahweh Shah, we live. So Yahweh Shah himself was sent forth from the heavenly father and the men that was called into this faith. We've been sent forth. To lift up the standard of the Lord, to, to be lights among the world that's full of gross darkness, you know, to, to proclaim um, the, the gospel, the good news, the good tidings to the, the lost sheep of the nation of Israel. So I'm going to just hit some scriptures. Uh, hopefully this will be edifying. I haven't really settled on what I'm going to title it. It's going to be something along the um, lines of call to lift up the standard or a call to promote the gospel or something to that effect the spirit will dictate that but without further ado i'm gonna just hit the first scripture i have here in the book of isaiah the 13th chapter it says i'm gonna start right at the top it says the burden of babylon which isaiah the son of amos did see and we know that the land that we dwelling in right now the majority of the israelites america this is known as uh great babylon or babylon the great the daughter of Babylon that the Most High prophesied to bring destruction upon. It's not talking about ancient Babylon, you know. So we have to read these scriptures and get understanding. It says, and this is all part of us uh, being called into this faith, being uh, part of the of the Lord's uh, uh, ones that, that were sent forth. Because there's a lot of Israelites that's teaching different things, but there's false doctrines going out. So the ones that was really called to be sent forth, they're going to come with the correct doctrine. It says, verse 2, it says, Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So that's what's being, uh, that's what's taking place rather right now. All through the spirit of the word uh, being proclaimed, you know, at the high level that is being proclaimed. You know, starting with the apostles and the elders and the men throughout the order of Great Millstone and really just all the different uh, Israelite uh, groups, man. Even if some Israelite groups, you know, they're not teaching the right doctrine for the most part. They are teaching our people that they're the Israelites and to some degree that they need to repent and, and basically come back to a higher power. So that's all a part of the banner of the standard of Yahweh Shah being lifted back up into the earth. But only uh, a few men are going to be called into that task to be sent forth, you know, as apostles, as Yahweh Shah himself was. And it says, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. And I know uh, mountains in the scriptures that represents government. So the, we're, we're, we're proclaiming this word before all of these uh, high level uh, elites because they have access to these videos and these YouTube channels to see what's going on, to see exactly what we're preaching about. To spy on brothers' lives and and really see what we're about, even though they're gonna come in the spirit of Satan to to demonize this word because Satan knows he has a short time, so he's gonna come with great wrath, like it tells you in Revelations the twelfth chapter. But nonetheless, we still supposed to lift up a banner, you know, in this highest government, of America, you know. But I wanted to get that word banner real quick. I thought that was interesting. Get this word banner in the Hebrew. It's the Strong's uh, H5251. And it says. Um, I 
I'm looking for that Strong's definition, Strong's info. It says uh, a flag also by a cell by implication, a flagstaff generally a signal figuratively a token banner pole cell standard so that's the word i was looking for when you go into that word banner in the hebrew it's a standard so a standard is being lifted back into the earth the standard of righteousness because this world as we know it is full of wickedness satan controls this current world that the nation of israel that the middle of the lord are having to serve this captivity in right now so wickedness in all manner of perversion that gets exalted in this place. But the standard of righteousness is being lifted back up uh, through the earth, through this word going out, through the men that were sent forth to, to go out and teach it and, and break these downs, things down properly. And it says, I'm going to read back in, um, I'm going to go back to the scripture, but I thought that word banner was interesting to bring out. I'll just read it again. Isaiah 13 and 2, it says, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. So we're supposed to exalt our voice unto these uh, uh, higher uh, level governments, man, to really to anything, any opposition against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that's in this place. You know, because everything in this place is set against uh, the, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This place is anti Messiah. So we're supposed to exhort our voice unto them. That's why brothers uh, uh, go out and preach, you know, cry loud. Spare not, lift up our voice like a trumpet. It says that in Isaiah the 58 chapter. So it says, shake the hand. So we're calling out all of this wickedness, man. You know, like it also talks about in Revelation 12 and 10, uh, the accuser of our brethren being cast down. So we're pointing the finger at the, the wicked who we can identify through the scriptures, through the prophecies in the Bible, man. That's all part of lifting up the banner, that standard as well. You know, of course, lifting up the standard of righteousness Exhorting our people uh, to repent, you know, come back to the Heavenly Father, offend less, quit, uh, just committing sin, you know, try to, to walk the right way. But also at the same time, we, we expose the devil. We expose all of the, the damn uh, evil deeds that this maniacal demon, the red Hebrew Edomites, have been doing to our people, man. It says, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. And gates represents leaderships and the uh, leaderships of these this high government America is these elites, man, who are trying to fulfill a new world order. But the Lord is going to uh, spun do it out of their hand in the fullness of their sufficiency. They're going to be in straits like it talks about in Job, uh, the 20th chapter. So but it, all of these processes is going to go forth because the word of the Lord is, is going out in the earth. At the end of the day, you know, that's why these things are coming to be. I'm going to go down to the point I want to hit in this lesson, though, in this uh, verse, Isaiah 13 and 3. It says, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. So it says right here, I've commanded my sanctified ones because I was. Uh, going into how the, the believers, the true believers in this faith, the, the ones that's pushing his word, the prophets, the hopeful elect, you know, we're also likened unto, unto apostles as well, because that word just means to be sent forth. So the Lord, he commanded us and that word sanctified ones that, that basically goes back to the Lord select. Those those ones that were with Yahweh in, in the in the heavenly father, you know, in the beginning, you know, the Allah Hayim. It says, I've commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. You know, so we were called into this faith. We were called into this ministry. You know, that's why uh, we call the, the body of brothers the church. And that word church goes back to ecclesia, um, which means uh, to call out. So it says, I have called. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. So it tells you in, uh, I believe, what Jeremiah 51, that the, uh, he's going to use uh, uh, his men to basically uh, enact his, his vengeance. Of course, we got to wait on the Lord, but the Lord is also going to use his elect men 
you know, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. The fishers turn into hunters. So those ones that was called into the faith, the sanctified ones, the mighty ones of the Lord, they're going to be called for, for the Lord's anger to, 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 to carry out and execute the Lord's anger. It says, even them that rejoice in my hardness. So we rejoice the elect, the hopeful elect, the men that's called into this faith. We rejoice at the name of the heavenly father and his son. We praise that holy name. We exalt that standard of righteousness in that way. That's why brothers go out on the highways and the byways. First and foremost, that's why brothers put up videos on these various YouTube channels, because we rejoice in the highness of this knowledge. In the highness of the power of the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Shai. You know, we rejoice in the, in the highness of these prophecies. The things that the Most High says before they happen and it happens. You know, that, that's what really gives us spiritual power at this uh, particular point. Even though the spiritual uh, uh, power, that's going to be made manifest on a, on a higher level as well. As we get closer to the return of Yahweh Shai. But that that verse stuck out to me that the lord you know he commanded his sanctified ones to basically uh lift up the standard in this place so that's why really if you proclaim if you're an israelite and you proclaim to believe in his word you know it's no reason you should just be sitting behind your computer you know once you've reached a certain level of understanding because the the airwave so to speak is being flooded with this truth man the men of the lord they're constantly out on the highways and byways speaking Shows are constantly being put up. This word is out there, man. It ain't no excuse. That's why Yahweh Shah said it ain't gonna be no cloak for our people's sins, you know. But it's all through the spirit of the Lord, because the Lord says, Many are called, but few are chosen. So at the end of the day, you have to be called, you have to be one of the Lord's sanctified ones to come into this profession, you know, exalting the standard of the Heavenly Father through pushing His word. I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to something else in Isaiah I want to hit. Go to the forty second chapter. Yeah, I'll start at six. This is Isaiah forty two and six. It says, I the Lord have called thee in righteousness. So just backing up what I read in uh Isaiah thirteen and verse three. You know, it says, I the Lord have called thee in righteousness. So it we were called into this ministry. Of course we heard the word. And then we were uh, persuaded in our own mind that this was the truth. And through just that process of the Lord building your faith, you, you walk this thing. You come into this thing. You go out and confess the, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. You confess the, the prophecies. You profess it and confess this word. You're not ashamed of the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness. So... Uh, we was called, of course, too, but we were called to a standard. That's the point I wanted to get a standard of righteousness because Jake has all uh, always uh, historically had different movements that all have come to not because they didn't have a standard. They weren't uh, they didn't have a, a, a banner like I started off reading or a standard of, of what of how they were going to move by. You know, it always has to be a measurement of how we're going to do things or rather a measurement of how we uh, determine what's right and what's wrong and that's through the standard of righteousness via these scriptures the law statutes and the commandments it says i the lord have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for light of the gentiles so the lord he's keeping that hedge of protection uh as we in the face of all this adversity exalt th this word as we exalt uh the the, the, the banner of the lord the standard of righteousness through this word. And basically, we're being a light to the Gentiles. We're being a light, uh, not only just for the actual Gentiles, these other heathen nations, because it does tell you that in Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, that we were supposed to be, we were set up to be a, a high uh, people unto the most high, that all of the other nations, they're supposed to look and say, what, oh, what great of a, of a nation that has the Lord so not unto them. I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing Deuteronomy uh, the fourth chapter but we were supposed to be a light to not only the, the heathens but also a light uh, to the Gentiles of our people who haven't awakened to this faith you know who have been um, in darkness you know who are those dry bones that haven't received this word we're supposed to be a light unto them so they can come into the fold you know that's all that process of, of exalting the banner of the Lord as well 
is for that purpose as well, to be a light for those uh, that's called into this faith to, to wake up and, and come into this thing. It says, verse, verse 7, it says to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison. So that's uh, in the process of us exalting and professing this word. These are all things that is, is, is set to do. These are the effects to open the blind eyes. Because some of our people, they just don't know. They're ignorant. That word ignorant means to not know. They just have to be given the, the information. You know, that's why the apostle Gabar, he always been the spirit to break down that word educate. It means to, to draw from within. So uh, the, uh, within the elect that the Most High has set up that may not be sealed into the faith yet. It just has to be someone out professing and, and exalting the banner, the standard of righteousness. So their eyes can be open. And it says to bring out the prisoners from the prison because this word makes you free. Uh, St. John, what, uh, 8 and 32, the truth shall make you free. You know, I, I don't want to quote. <laughs> well, I guess I will. Denzel Washington on the uh, Malcolm X movie, he said, you're, you're, you're in the prison of your mind, which we are. Because through that captivity, even Jake to this day has low uh, self-esteem, confidence. They have a real low mindset towards themselves, man. But this truth, you know. Our faith, you know, that, that's what frees our mind, man. It says to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. So basically bringing our people into the light, bringing them out of that gross darkness, because the, 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 the things within this world, that's all complete darkness and death. This righteousness, this truth, the, the, the gospel, the good news of the Lord telling uh, our people that. Our enemy that has been putting hell and oppression on them, their kingdom is about to be destroyed and that the kingdom of heaven that's going to uh, last on earth forever. You're going to be on in rulership in that kingdom and you're going to have all these other heathen nations uh, in, in uh, being subservient to you. This is part of the good news that frees our people's minds and spirits. You know, it says. Uh, verse eight, I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So the Lord, uh, he called Israel the apple of his eye. So he he has his people close unto him, even though we turned our back on the Lord and he disowned us, like it tells you in the prophecy in Hosea, the first chapter. But he made promises to our forefathers and Yahweh shot. Ultimately, uh, he was uh, set on his course to, to bring us back into the heavenly father. It says uh, Isaiah 42 and 9, it says, behold, the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. So that's the power of the sanctified ones, the ones that was called into this faith that we have over everybody else uh, that's within this society, within this realm. You know, we have the ability to understand the prophecies, to have foresight all through the spirit of the Lord. You know, the, the things, the former things. Uh, are being declared or I'm going to read it again Isaiah 42 and 9 it says behold the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth I'll tell you of them so new things the Lord has already declared before it happens it says I tell you of them so we already know that great Babylon is going to be destroyed by nuke thermonuclear destruction we already know it's going to be a famine a race war a martial law you know all different types of hell through the prophecies, through the things that the Most High declared before it actually happens. He told us, man, we have the ability to, to understand it, being uh, those sanctified ones that was called to go out and push this word, to profess this, this glorious gospel, you know, to lift up that, 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 that banner or that standard. Isaiah 42 and 10, it says, Sing unto the Lord a new song. That's all going back into uh, lifting up the banner or that standard. This is the new song, the, the, the gospel, you know, the kingdom of heaven. It says, sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. So that's all a part of exalting or lifting up the banner as well. You know, singing the new song of the Lord, the gospel, which everyone's not meant to, to pipe to the melody of the song. Only the elect, only those ones that was called into the faith, only the sanctified ones are going to be able to hear this new song. 
And then they're going to learn of this song and they're going to be able to sing this song as well and send forth the praise of our Heavenly Father throughout the four corners of the earth, throughout the, the all of the different peoples, being the light unto the world. Waking up our people, man, because we see our enemy, man, he's he's about to go down uh, day for day. You can just see the looks on these Edomites faces, you know, even though they're proud, a lot of them still, you know, it's just beautiful just seeing uh, Jake uh, uh, having like a more spirit of, of of rising up at the appointed time. You know, even though you got a lot of uh, Jake that be cooning and buffooning, you know, a lot of Jake's for, for the most part, they starting to, to, to wake up to the BS that the enemy's doing to him, man. And that's all uh, praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for that word, for that, that banner, for that standard going out into the earth. You know? Let's see. I want to get one more scripture account of our greatest example to date. You know, he was sent forth before we all were, you know? And we're just trying to be in the mind of him, like it talks about in Philippians 2. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Hamashiach Yahweh our Savior. I just want to go into this account in Luke, the second chapter. Because this is the ultimate anointed that was called, you know, that was sent forth from the Heavenly Father to be a light into the world. I'm going to start at where I want to start to in. 25 i think i want to yeah this is saint luke 2 and 25 it says and behold there was a man in jerusalem whose name was simeon and the same man was just and devout waiting for the consolation of israel and the holy ghost was upon him and it was revealed unto him by the holy ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the lord's anointed and he came by the spirit into the temple. And with the and when the parents brought in the child, Yahweh Shah, to do for him after the custom of the law. So this was the, during the time where Yahweh Shah, he had turned 12. If you go into the account, he was with his parents, his actual biological parents, Joseph and Mary. They went up to Jerusalem because it's three times, of course, according to uh, Israelite customs that you come up to Jerusalem. And um, yeah. But it says and it says to, to do for him after the customs of the law. So they, he was he was going to most likely get anointed. You know, I, I know them rats. They, they call it like b b mitzvah, you know. But I'm going to just keep continue on. Verse 28, it says, then took he him up in his arms and blessed the most high and said, Lord, now let us thy, thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. So this is uh, Simeon right now. The Lord, through the Spirit, had told him that he wasn't going to die until he uh, basically uh, met and anointed Yahweh Shah. You know? And it says, he basically prayed to the Lord that thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Because he understood the prophecies and what the Messiah was set up to come to do. You know, which was to be a light unto the, 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 the lost sheep within the house of Israel. So he was saying, Lord, let us now thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, according to the prophecies. You know, because uh, Simeon knew that Yahweh Shah was the Messiah. He was the one that was sent forth from the heavenly father. He was the one called from the heavenly father, that 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 only begotten son, the, the first sanctified one that was called and sent forth. You know, to be the, the, the redeemer and to bring salvation for the nation of Israel. It says, verse 32, a light to lighten the Gentiles in the glory of thy people, Israel. You know, so Yahweh shot. He even called uh, his disciples. He said, ye are the light of the world. But Yahweh shot, you know, everything starts with him. He was uh, sent forth. Uh, by the heavenly father by his father to be the light to to all of us man because that's how we are uh, are able to come out of darkness through this word because yahweh shah he comes in the volume of the book you know is is written of him so through his word through through understanding his word that's how we come into the light of understanding who we are understanding the prophecies that are set forth to happen 
understanding that the only way we're going to be saved out of this situation is by the person who was prophesied to, to bring salvation to the nation of Israel. You know, it starts first with the word, you know, just being free through your mind and your spirit to understand the truth. And then there's going to be uh, an actual physical salvation, you know, in the midst of the greatest destruction ever written about in the course of our history. You know, it says a light to lighten the Gentiles in the glory of thy people Israel, you know. And it says, and Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Like I just uh, quoted Psalms 40 and 7. For lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. So everything that's written in the Bible, whether it be the prophets, the, the Psalms, you know, everything that's written in the Bible is concerning our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Because he was the first spirit, the only begotten uh, son of the Heavenly Father that was called and sent forth to be a light. For the whole nation of Israel to be salvation for the whole nation of Israel. And then, of course, in the order of things, uh, the, the Lord, the, those joint heirs that it talks about in Romans, the eighth chapter, the, the Lord select. We're going to also uh, be called. We were also called rather into this faith to profess the name, will and instruction of the Heavenly Father through his son to preach uh, salvation to the lost sheep of the nation of Israel. To, be, to preach destruction to the wicked empire known as America, you know? So, with all being said, I, I think that's the point I want to hit on that, you know? That's just a, 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 an important role, even brothers that may feel that the role that they have within this thing of ours, you know, is insignificant. Man, we've been called into a, a, a huge profession, man, so really you should just take ownership based on whatever measurement that the Lord gave you, you know, because we've been given a, a heavy task, man. We've been called into this into this faith, man, to 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 lift up the standard and the standard that we're lifting up, the banner, the standard that we're lifting up, man, is going to really change the whole course of, of this thing of this world as we know it, you know. So Hopefully this edified and made sense. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect.